IRCC conducted another draw on 23rd November. While most of us were worried about the draw happening as many candidates failed to update their profiles, IRCC conducted a draw with a good draw size, but the drop in cutoff score was not a very surprising one. This means that the pool breakdown should be interesting to see. Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Canadian Dream. This channel is all about Canadian immigration, immigration related news and updates. In today's video, we'll talk about the latest Express Entry draw result, we'll try to break down the pool size and do some analysis on it. So RCC conducted the latest Express Entry draw on 23rd November 2022. 4,750 invitations were sent out and the cutoff score was 491. By the way, I have already shared this result right after the draw. If you have missed it, you probably haven't subscribed to my channel yet or you forgot to press the bell icon. I try to share Express Entry updates with you as early as possible, so you may consider subscribing if you want regular and timely updates. For this draw, my prediction was 491 for the cutoff score and I was expecting 4750 invitations. My prediction of 4750 invitations was spot on and the cutoff score prediction was also correct. After a long time, the draw result was aligned with my prediction. That's not a very good news as I used really high numbers of new addition to the pool in my last prediction. For the cutoff score to drop rapidly, we need the number of new addition to the pool to calm down. I'm still glad to see the draw was conducted and it did not pause even after so many candidates failed to update their profiles on time. Let's move to the Express Entry Pool, break it down and analyze it. IRCC shared a pool breakdown as of 22nd November and this is how it looked. This shows the number of candidates in each range one day before the draw. So when the draw is conducted it would impact these numbers. We can see there were 876 candidates in the 601 to 1200 range, 1227 candidates in the 501 to 600 range, 3031 in the 491 to 500 range, 10517 in the 481 to 490 range, 19,494 in the 471 to 480 range, 16,523 in the 461 to 470 range, 12,835 in the 451 to 460 range. The latest draw was conducted on the 23rd of November. 4,750 invitations were sent out and the cutoff score was 491. Let's now look at the number of new candidates added to the pool between the draw on the 9th of November and the 23rd of November. First, let's start by comparing the number of new candidates to our prediction. In the range of 601 to 1200, we were expecting 811 candidates. Bad news, 876 candidates were added, 65 more than our expectation. Between 501 to 600, 1343 candidates were expected. 1227 candidates were added in this range, 116 less than our prediction. Between 491 to 500, 952 candidates were expected but 1251 were actually added. This again came as the biggest shock, 299 more than our prediction. Between 481 to 490, 253 candidates were anticipated but 247 candidates were added, 6 less. Between 471 to 480, 70 candidates were expected but 106 got added, 36 more. Between 461 to 470, 53 candidates were supposed to add but 110 candidates got removed. Between 451 to 460, 8 candidates were expected to get reduced but 33 actually got removed. Overall, 3,564 candidates were added in the 451 to 1200 series range, which is just 89 more than our prediction. So all in all, the number of new candidates was very close to the prediction, but this is not a piece of very good news as we already considered very high numbers in my last prediction. To understand the pattern of new additions better, let's look at the trends. In the 601 to 1200 range, we can see a small drop this time. This made the trend line slightly flatter. The 501 to 600 range has witnessed a slight rise and the trend line is still upward. The 491 to 500 range also showed yet another rise this time. 
the highest we have seen in the recent times. This has a very steep upward trend now. In the 481 to 490 range, we can see a significant drop this time. The slope is still steep and upward. The 471 to 480 range has a decent drop and the trend line is still downward slope. The 461 to 470 range saw a huge drop. The overall trend is now downward. The 451 to 460 range continues with its unpredictable behavior. On the whole, new candidates in the 451 to 1200 range retain the steep upward trend. So, did the glitches with the new knock system make any major impact in the pool? New candidates in the 601 to 1200, 501 to 600, 491 to 500 and 481 to 490 ranges did not see any major changes. The drops were visible in the tail end. I'm hoping the number of candidates who failed to update their profile is not very big. Otherwise, they will resist the cutoff score from dropping in the next draws. Truth be told, the number of new addition is out of our control. We really can't stop people from adding to the pool. We all are trying to fulfill our Canadian dreams, so let's focus on the bright side. Draw was conducted while many were worried that there won't be a draw at all. So what does the pool look like after the last draw? On 23rd November 2022, 4,750 invitations were sent out and the cutoff score was 491. From the 4,750 invitations, 876 were used up by the candidates with 600 plus scores. From the remaining ideas, 1,227 were sent to cover all the candidates in the 501 to 600 shares range. After this, there were no candidates in the 501 and above. There were 2,647 ideas in hand which were dedicated to the 491 to 500 shares range. There were 3,031 candidates in this range, so after sending out 2,647 invitations, there should be 384 candidates left in this range. So that's the pool breakdown after the draw on 23rd November. Now if you have been watching my videos carefully, you should be able to make your prediction by looking at this table. If you are able to calculate and come up with the prediction, let me know by commenting below. If you want to know my prediction, I'll try to share it in the next couple of days. I hope this video was helpful, please let me know if you liked it or if you have any problem understanding my explanation. Your feedback can help me make better videos for you. To get regular updates on exclusive entry, do subscribe and click on the bell icon. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I'm also available on TikTok right now. You can follow me there as well. I try to share regular updates on my socials. That's all for today, thank you for watching.